a bigger battery and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performance could be coming. If you held off on buying the Samsung Galaxy S24 in favor of waiting for the Samsung Galaxy S24 fee, then you're in luck. The first leak may have just revealed some key details about the phone and there's some very good news to share. According to leaker at Araxda on Twitter slash X, the Galaxy S24 FFE may be coming with the same processor as the flagship Galaxy S24. That would mean a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in North America and an Exynos 2400 in other regions. While we haven't been able to benchmark the Exynos 2400 variants, Galaxy S24 models rocking the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performed really well in benchmark tests. The phone scored a single-core score of 2,235 and a multi-core score of 6,922 in Geekbench 6, plus 120.4 apps and Wildlife Unlimited, and 041 seconds of Adobe Premiere Rush video transcoding. Those figures outmatched the iPhone 15 in some areas, but not in others. Apple's latest scored a superior 2,518 in a single-core benchmarking and 0.249 in Adobe Premiere Rush. However, the iPhone 15 felt behind on multi-core testing and wildlife unlimited with scores of 6.179 and 72.1 FIPS. While there's more to performance than benchmark tests, and the A16 Bionic is a year older than the 8 Gen 3, it shows how well the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has caught up to Apple's performance specs. Ataraxa also claims that the S24 FFE might be coming with a 6.1-inch AMOLED display which is slightly smaller than the Galaxy S24's 6.2-inch, but admits that they aren't sure. However, it is mentioned that the phone could pack in 12GB of RAM and a choice of 128GB or 256GB of storage. Interestingly, the battery may be noticeably larger, with the leaker claiming we may see a 4,500 mAh battery pack instead of 4,000 mAh. It's quite an impressive array of features considering the Galaxy S24 FE is supposed to be a lower-cost alternative to the flagship models, sitting between the Galaxy S24 and the mid-range Galaxy A55. No doubt there will be some trade-offs, though, as we saw with the Galaxy S23 FE last year. That model came with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, a static display refresh rate, and cheaper materials, including Gorilla Glass 5 rather than the stronger Victus 2. So while the Galaxy S24 FE may still have a bigger battery and one of the latest chipsets, you're going to have to expect a less than premium experience somewhere, though where it might be currently isn't clear. We won't find out until much later in the year, though we don't know when the S24 FE might launch. Judging from the Galaxy S23 FE's October launch, we may have to wait several months to hear more. With the leaked details about the Samsung Galaxy S24 FE, including a potentially larger battery, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performance, and other impressive features, are you now considering waiting for the S24 FE instead of buying the Galaxy S24 or another phone? Do let us know in the comment section. Hope you liked and subscribed to this channel. I will see you in next one.